Hello everyone, welcome to the new video of uh, Touch Designer Tutorials. Some of you probably saw my previous videos and noticed the change in my voice. So I got some comments about high-pitched voice and apparently is a bit distracting for some people. So I decided to do a voiceover on this video with my normal voice and Let's start this video, Generative Art, Smoke and Fire. First thing, I bring a noise from top. I change the period to 3 and harmonics on 10. I put the harmonic spread on 0.9 and harmonic gain on 0.65 I put the exponent on 0.35 and in transform translate Z I write apps time dot seconds And I multiply it into a very small number, 0.05. Here I want to change the output resolution. I bring a constant from chop. And I change the number to 1000. Now I use this constant for every resolution that I will have, including this noise. I bring another noise from top. I change the period to 2. And in common, I use the constant for my resolution, 1000 to 1000. And I copy this expression that I had in my first noise here. I copy parameter. And in the second noise, I paste reference. Just right click and select paste reference. I add an edge from top after my first noise. I put the strength on 7. and sample step on 8, both of them. Now I add a composite from top. I connect the edge and the second noise to the composite. I leave it like this. Now I bring a circle from top. Again, I go to common and I use the same resolution. I add another composite from top and I connect the first composite and circle to my new composite. I leave the operation on multiply. Now I want to make a feedback loop. I bring a feedback from top. And a composite from top. I connect the feedback and the composite to, to the new composite. I change the operation to maximum. After the composite, I add a slot.
here in a slot. I increase the strength to 9. And sample step to 6. After slop, I add a billing and I add a displace. I connect the feedback to the first input and the blur to the second input. Now I need to reduce the displace weight. So I put it on null point null one one both X and Y. Now we have a very weak effect. After this place, I add another this place. And here again, I bring a noise from top. I change the resolution I turn off the monochrome of the new noise I increase the period to 1.9 harmonics to 7 and harmonic spread to 5.2 and I decrease the harmonic gain a bit 0 0.65 now I connect the noise to the second input of this place 2 here again I decrease the displaced weight this time more than before 0 0.004 After this place, add a level from top. I decrease the brightness to 0 0.996 and impose the opacity to 0 0.99. Now I add another composite and I connect the composite before my feedback to the last composite here. I put the operation on over. Now here, in the target top, I drop the last composite. Now you see we have kind of a smoky effect. We can reset our feedback First, to see the result, I divide my window to two parts. Here I, cho I choose top viewer and I add an RGB key. I turn on the display and here I turn off backdrop tops. Now we have the final image on the right side of our program. Here I add a keyboard in and I use it to reset my feedback. You just drop it on pulse and choose chop references. Now I add a ramp from top. I change the type to circular. 
I changed the period to 1.8. I'm going to use this ramp to give this a smoky feedback color. Here I change the color. I make a reddish bluish ramp. So as you see, my ramp starts from red to kind of orange and blue, kind of gray and white. Now I have this. Here again, I use the same constant for my resolution. I copy my ramp. And in the new ramp, I change the color again. Here I want to make it more yellow. And in the second ramp, I change the period to 1.5. Now here I add a level. I want to remove this kind of white shadow that stays, like the feedback that stays. So I increase the black level of this level to 0.08 and increase the brightness to 1.3 and contrast to 1.05. Now you see this already looks better. Here I add the composite of the level and I connect the first ramp to my composite. Now I add a lookup. I connect the level to the first input of lookup and the second ramp to the second input. Now you see here we can we have kind of a fire effect. Here I add another composite and I connect the lookup and the composite to it. I put it on maximum. Now I add an edge after my composite. I change the color to red. I increase the strength to 5.5. I add a bellow after my edge. I change the pre shrink to 2 and filter size to 15. Now, here in the end, 
I add another composite and I connect the below and the last composite to the new composite. I put the operation on the screen and that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know in comment if you also prefer my normal voice. I kind of like the high pitch voice, but I know that it can be distracting for some people. So I decided to do this video and to experiment. And it would be nice to know your opinion about it. See you next time.